Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can calculate time as far as earth geometry is concerned. Remember that you and I will live in the world with respect to time. We manage our time in various activities which we do. Now in this video, we are going to concentrate on how you can calculate time. Right. So what you must know is the earth rotate each and every day. It's rotate 360 degrees in 24 hours. Now, how can you calculate the time? This concept is very important as you are going to the concept of the speed. So now, what must you know about time calculation? So to calculate time, you need to know the following. One, the difference between longitude. You must know the difference between longitude. And I hope and understand by that time you know what longitude are and you know how to find the difference between longitude. If at all you don't know, please revisit the, vest, the first video on longitudes. And then you must also know the time difference between the longitude. When you know the difference between the longitude, know the time difference between your two longitudes. Thereafter, if you are moving from west to east, you must add the time. If you are moving from west to east, you must add the time. How to do that, I will show you in the example. And then when you are moving from east to west, you must subtract the time. How to do that? I'll show you as well. Very simple way of adding and subtracting time differences there. And thereafter, what you must know is how many degrees make an hour and how many minutes make a degree. Those things are very important as far as the calculation of time is concerned, which is this. One hour is equal to 15 degrees and four minutes is equal to one degree. So how where have I gotten this? Where have I gotten this? Very simple. In the preamble, I said the Earth rotates 24 hours. 24 hours in 24 hours, 360 degrees. This is how the Earth rotates. So now, we can ask ourselves, what about one hour? What about one hour? How many degrees does it take the Earth to rotate? Very simple. So from here, we can cross multiply. So 24 hours times X is 24, is 24 hours times x is equal to 1 hour times x is 360 degrees times 1 hour like this okay so i've just showed what i've done here so since we are interested in knowing the value of x we divide both sides by 24 hours even this side by 24 hours when you cancel this you're going to have x is equal to 24 hours like 24 into 360 degrees is 15 and then hour and hour will go remember that we have got a degree which is this degree so our x is 15 degrees so meaning that one hour is equal to 15 degrees which is this relationship here now where have we gotten four minutes to represent one degree very simple since we have said that one hour let me raise this part okay since we have said that one hour is equal to 15 degrees. Remember that this one hour in minutes is what? It's 60 minutes. So in short, we have got 60 minutes to represent 15 degrees. Now the question is, what about one degree? How many minutes are we going to have? So let's put X here. We cross multiply. X times 15 degrees, it's 15 degrees. X is equal to one hour. One degree times 15 degrees, it's one degree times 60 degrees minutes. Sorry, here I should say one hour, one hour degree times 60 minutes, okay, which is this. Now, we are interested of knowing the value of x, therefore we divide 15 degrees on both sides of our equation. So x is equal to, so degree, degree will go, and then 15 to 60, it's 4 minutes. As a result, we have got 4 minutes is equal to 1 degree. Very simple concept there on how you must calculate time. So this is just the introductory video on time calculation. Now make sure that you watch the next video on in which I'm going to explain how you can calculate the time by giving you the examples. Thank you for watching this video.